anytime that we start bringing cost into the equation of healthcare, I think it's a good thing. I know that this probably is antithetical to. <laughs> uh, uh, probably some people are driving off the road at this point, but um, uh, really. Right now, when we when we go to see a doctor about especially something serious like cancer, all we think about in terms of costs and benefits are the health costs and the health benefits. You know, you have a 10% chance of dying with this with this treatment. You have a 90% chance of survival. You'll go through some pain. You'll be sick. You know, these are the side effects. And that's the, typically and how that's, we look at our treatment right. options and compare and decide what to do. Right. Um, but when you have uh, the very the the number of treatment options available that we do, you, know, you have some treatments that are relatively benign, re relatively cheap, and you have some treatments that are extremely expensive. And so not, it's not just about whether you have surgery versus whether you have chemotherapy and, and radiation treatment. It's and which one works which one works better, and how sick are you going to be based on them, and how long will it take to recover? But there's also the money side of it, and there are some there are some cancers uh, like prostate cancer it takes a long time to develop. Uh, it was the example that Rudy Giuliani gave of his, his survival, um, but people in the U.S. survive more because longer because of, with with prostate cancer than they do in the U.K. In part because they die of other things before the prostate cancer gets bad, and so you know, when you get to that point, it is a good idea to start talking about the costs and, and try to weigh those in it with everything else.